we're going to create a quick command macro that can help us quickly toggle or change between showing your dimensions in inches and inches and feet. The command will work for any unit that you would like to set. I'm just giving you the example uh, for feet and inches. What I'm going to use is the tool palette. Drag this polyline to our tool palette and release it like so. And here it will give us the option to click on it and pick properties. Over here under these properties, um, we can uh, add a description. That's all up to you, but uh, this will help with the command. And for the name, the lazy team units. And how we're going to start this is I'm not going to start from scratch. Yeah? You should never do that. Uh, in this channel, we never want to waste our time. So that's what I always like to reuse things. So I just simply copy this right from the Autodesk website. This is a good example of a if uh, function using D cells and macros. Let's quickly review it together. CC to cancel any active command. Um, these characters to let AutoCAD, the, the following is going to be a diesel expression or formula. The if is the function. So we're saying if the variable dim L unit is equal to 4, I want AutoCAD to change that to dim L unit to 2. So if this is in inches only. Otherwise, I want to dim L unit to stay the same as 4 because that means that E was previously a 2. And here is where we um, can understand now some of these different values. 4, the architectural way, which means feet and inches. 2 for decimal if we only want to show this in inches. So let's quickly test this now, the lazy dim units command. So... Uh, I want now I'm going to let's say I need to uh, make a dimension over here. So I'm going to click, click. That's 82. That's in inches for my small detail. But let's say I want now a bigger dimension for my overall building. And I can see that that's wrong. That's not a problem. I can quickly use my lazy dim units command and then add my dimension as needed and then if i need to change quickly i can click and simply draw my dimension in inches only this macro worked well but did you know you can automate your tasks using basic commands join me in the next video to learn how